Good morning, everyone. I am Deepthi Kapoor, Assistant Professor in the Department of Management Studies of RKGIT College. So today we will be discussing about the topic communication. Moving on to the next slide. Uh, first of all, we will be discussing about the meaning of communication. So what basically communication is, it is a process of exchanging information, ideas, thoughts, feelings and emotions. Secondly, all these activities are done through the speech, through signals, through writing and behavior. Basically, communication is how you interact with a single person or a group of persons. So it is a two-way process. The way you interact with others, the way you converse with others, the way you talk to others is the process of communication. Moving on to the process of communication, the very first step of process of communication is sender. So the sender sends the message to the receiver and ultimately the receiver gives the feedback through a particular channel. So basically there are six steps. First is sender, second is message, third is channel, fourth is receiver, fifth is feedback and the last one again is channel. So here the sender sends the message through a particular channel, through, through a particular platform to the receiver. The receiver then ultimately gives the feedback to the message which is being sent by the sender to the receiver and ultimately he also uses a particular kind of channel to respond in the way of the feedback. So this is the entire process of communication which happens in a circular way. It is a never ending process and it actually is a chain process which keeps happening in a circular form. Now the next topic is types of communication. Basically there are two types of communication. One is verbal and the second one is non-verbal kind of communication. So verbal kind of communication is the one where the message is transmitted verbally through word of mouth or through a piece of writing. That means you can talk also, you can converse, you can talk to a person and you can transmit the message through verb, verb, words. Second is word of mouth and the third one is piece of writing. The best example of piece of writing is like nowadays in professional scenario, people are using the uh, emails, they are making the use of emails through uh, the internet and they converse through the process of emails for transferring the messages or for giving the information. Next is non-verbal kind of communication. This is the kind of communication where the messages are shared through gestures, facial expressions, tone of voice, body language or posture. Gestures means your hand movements, your expressions, then facial expressions, all the kind of expressions which depend on your eye movement, eye contact, then your tone of voice, what is the pitch of your voice, how you talk to others, are you loud, are you balanced or are you very slow. So that needs to be kept in mind. Then is your body language. Body language is how you talk, how you walk, how you express yourself. And the last thing is posture. Posture may be well considered in the, uh, here we can have one very fine example. Like suppose if you are preparing for your interview or if you are literally giving the interview, you need to be very careful about the posture, right? Posture means the way you sit, the way you stand, the way you express yourself while making the use of your body language. Moving on to the next topic. We are going to discuss about the seven C's of communication. So the seven C's of communication are completeness, concreteness, correctness, conciseness, clarity, courtesy and consideration. So here in this case, we will be discussing each and every point one by one. Moving on to the first point, which is completeness. So completeness is what? When the message is the message is considered as a complete message, when it provides all necessary information, it answers all the questions asked and it gives something extra when desirable. 
so giving all the necessary information means there should not be half sent information the information should be complete in itself there should not be any kind of missing point when you are conveying the information to the other person answering all the questions is also important and the third thing is it gives clear cut and extra uh, extra kind of information whenever it is desired second kind of c is concreteness communicating concretely means being vivid being specific being definite and not being vague and general it means that you need to be specific you need to be very much assertive whatsoever you are conveying to the audience or whatsoever you are conveying to a single person there is no need to be vague or there is no need to be uh, having a kind of general nature when you are trying to convey the message to the other person third kind of c is correctness correctness means when anything is totally correct or when the information conveyed to the person is right it means making the proper use of grammar punctuation and spellings and using right language so whenever you are conveying with the person or the audience you should be very much careful about the grammatical part there should not be any kind of grammatical error you should make the particular and proper use of punctuation you should be well aware where to use the full stop where to use the comma or where to use the exclamation etc etc and yes one very uh, one more important thing is related to the spellings suppose when you are trying to write the email to your boss or somebody else you need to be very careful about using the spellings of the words because writing the wrong spellings doesn't give a positive impact it actually creates a negative kind of impact in the mind of the reader so the last thing is that you need to be very much aware about the kind of language that you are using you should be aware of what kind of language the other person will be able to understand and accordingly you should make the use of the language moving on to the next point that is conciseness conciseness means eliminating wordy expression including only the relevant material and avoiding unnecessary repetition so there should not be any kind of repetitive mode when you are trying to convey the information or when you are trying to converse with the audience it should include only the relevant information there should not be like non required kind of information and you should learn to eliminate the wordy expression next point is clarity clarity is what it means getting the meaning from your head into the head of your listener or reader accurately like whatsoever you are trying to convey from the use of your brain or your mind it should be easily it should be uh very much uh i mean it should be easily understood by the person who is listening to you or who is trying to read the information that you have conveyed to the other person through either through written mode or through spoken mode second thing is constructing <coughs> effective sentences and paragraphs so the sentences or paragraphs which you are using they should be effective enough and they should be easily understood by the audience third thing is selecting the right words to convey the meaning there should not be like very simple words also used and there should not be very high fi kind of words to be used the words to be used should be easily understood by the audience and you should be well aware what kind of words a particular kind of person will be able to understand courtesy courtesy means showing the you you attitude showing the respect and concern for others and being sincerely sincerely tactful thoughtful and appreciative of others it means uh, in short we can say that courtesy means giving the importance to the you attitude <coughs> next is consideration it means to focus on you instead of i and we to show the audience benefit and interest in the receiver and emphasize positive pleasing facts so this is all about the seven c's thank you so much